Hello and welcome to America's Heartland. I'm Paul Ryan. Over the years, American farmers have answered many a crisis here at home and around the world. Now, usually, those crises have involved food. Hungry people the world over have welcomed crates and cartons bearing products grown year in and year out all across the heartland. But now a story about a different kind of challenge, one that we are all facing, the uncertain supply and rising cost of fuel. And once again, American farmers are answering the call. They have found a new partner, a man known throughout the heartland as a living legend of country music. Our Jason Schultz reports from Texas. River, take my mind. Singer Willie Nelson logs a lot of miles every year, crisscrossing the country with songs about home, heartache, and America's heartland. For more than 20 years, he's championed the American farmer in his annual Farm Aid concerts. This day, Willie's on the road again as part of his promotion for Bio Willie, a biodiesel product made from blending processed vegetable oils with diesel fuel. Welcome to Durant, Oklahoma, our biofuels. Willie's come to Durant, Oklahoma to open a new biodiesel production facility operated by Earth Biofuels. Nelson and Academy Award winning actor Morgan Freeman both sit on the board of directors of Earth Biofuels. They champion the biodiesel process, taking oil from vegetable plants like soybeans and chemically breaking it down to produce a liquid compound that can be blended with petroleum to create a diesel fuel that burns cleaner than petrodiesel and has fewer emissions. It's the answer to a lot of our problems, not to all of them, but you start combining all the alternative energies from a biodiesel to ethanol to uh, water, uh, you know, all the uh, solar, and all these things together can make a, a big difference and put a big dent in our dependency on foreign energy. It's not just dependency on foreign oil, it's dependency on any oil that we have to become totally aware of. Bio Willie is just one of the biodiesel options on the market. Willie says his wife gave him the idea when she wanted a new car that could use biodiesel fuel. It scared me in the beginning. <laughs> But then when I saw that it worked, I did it the same thing with my new Mercedes, and it worked there. So now we're using it in our buses and trucks out on the highways, wherever we can find biodiesel of any kind, we use it in whatever blend we can get. A number of new biodiesel facilities have sprung up in recent years, making the product much more accessible. But there's also been controversy about energy savings. Studies from Cal Berkeley and Cornell say that crop production and fuel processing use more energy than biodiesel generates. However, a separate study from the Departments of Energy and Agriculture concluded that the industry creates three units of energy for each unit expended in production. For drivers at the pump, state and federal tax incentives have brought down the price. Truck driver Ramon Suarez thought it was time to try it. You hear rumors and stuff, but the only way to find out is try it and let it, you know, see what happens in the long run. It's only been a month since I've been putting it in the truck and it hadn't made any difference. It's still running the same or just as good. The National Biodiesel Board says 25 million gallons of biodiesel were produced in 2004. That more than tripled in 2005. This station, outside Dallas, says they pump 5 to 10,000 gallons a day. And that's good news for Oklahoma farmers like Jeff Teese. He says the new biodiesel plant in nearby Durant will generate a greater demand for soybeans. Anytime you can create a local market, it's great for everybody, not even just ourselves, but everybody, because you improve your basis on your prices that you get from your soybeans. Oklahoma State University estimates that a bushel of soybeans will generate one and a half gallons of biodiesel. Most is blended with petroleum in anywhere from a 2% to 20% mix. Thanks for coming. Tommy Kramer heads up the Durant Industrial Authority, which converted an old feed mill into the new BioWilly plant. Well, it will literally mean uh, new payroll over two and a half million dollars a year, and that dollar rolls through the community seven, eight, nine times. So this is a tremendous project for a community our size. And Willie Nelson says that the American farmer has, for too long, been on the bottom rung of the economic ladder. He says biodiesel could change all that. And I think we've broken that bottom ladder, and it's time to repair it, and, and uh, so we can uh, repair all the other rungs above it. And the way to do that is through growing fuel and food 
for everybody so we don't have to be so dependent elsewhere. Willie says he expects the 10 million gallons of biodiesel the Durant facility plans to produce each year will make it easier for him to find the fuel as he travels to concerts across the country. I'm drowning in a whiskey river.